So I've got another unboxing to do. I'm pretty excited about this one. It's the Red Wing Iron Ranger. Um, so for the, those of you who've watched some of my other videos recently, you would have seen the, the probably the Red Wing uh, 875. I got that over Christmas. It you know, had some issues with comfort and things like that. Seems to be improving a bit. Um, still my you know, least comfortable boot, but it's you know, you just need to keep wearing it. And there were some, you know, really good suggestions in the comments, you know, thick socks, use different oils and kind of creams and things like that to soften up. So thanks for those. So anyway, let's get into these ones. So as usual, it comes with a nice little canvas red wing shoe uh, bag and then box. So I decided to go ahead and get the amber color this one there's about so there's I think five different colors there's like charcoal black um, amber and a couple of other brown ones so um, yeah I wanted to keep it you know I've got a lot of black shoes and boots so I thought I'd go for amber a bit of a different color so it retails 349 US dollars and um, yeah let me take the other one out So again, this is a classic kind of, you know, six inch boot. Uh, unlike the 875, it's got the uh, metal, uh, instead of the holes, it's got the um, the hooks here, three hooks, instead of um, holes all the way up. The sole, uh, this is the new sole. So um, previously the Iron Ranger came with, um, I can't remember what the name of it was, but it wasn't the Vibram sole. Vibram's been around like a couple of years, but if you, you know, you're buying these online, then you can probably expect to see, you know, older ones with none of this grip and it's just uh, kind of smooth. But, uh, you know, this one should be better for obviously grip and less slippery. Um, again, it's a good year welt, so, um, you know, you can get these resold. In fact, actually, there's a couple I'm going to send to resold now. So this old, battered, <laughs> very battered one is going to be sent off for resold uh, soon. So that's, you know, this is a 10 year plus boot, so um, yeah, it's great that you can, you know, keep the life of your boot going for years and years, if not decades. So if I compare this to, so this is probably the most famous or probably the best, best seller for Red Wing. Um, in terms of the design changes, obviously it's not like the mock toe, like the A75. If I just compare those two, they're quite different. There we go. So I'm hoping that this one is gonna be much more, the Red Iron Ranger is gonna be much more comfortable. As I mentioned in the other video, this is, because it's got this extra bit of leather, it's very, very uncomfortable. This one, the Iron Ranger, has, you know, kind of, it's very soft here, re really good quality leather, um, very soft here, so I don't expect that kind of issue. Uh, trying it in the shop, you know, walking around a bit, it seemed, you know, pretty comfortable. The only thing I did find when I was um, you know, looking at, you know, I've heard Red Wing does have some kind of quality issues. So there's a couple of things. If you look at, if you look at those two there, to me, the toe looks pretty different in color. And in terms of, you know, the cut of the leather, it's a little bit off as well. I did in the store, you know, kind of go through and compare some other different shoes. They all seem to be similar, and these aren't, you know, just clarify, these aren't oops, <laughs> factory seconds or anything. If you look at some of the other issues as well, so... Put these two together, it's quite inconsistent. You can see, you know, here, this has got this chunk of leather that pretty different to you know the left one which is kind of weird I mean I did ask the guy in the store about it um yeah he did take out some other ones and they all seem to have a bit of um kind of issues so you know I try these on they fit well yeah probably won't notice it and uh, comparing this to some of the other pairs 
So again, these have the fib ram sole. Obviously they don't have the toe cap. Uh, these are um, less bulbous as well. So if you look at um, a lot of criticism of the Iron Ranger is that sometimes, you know, people say, oh, they look a bit like clown shoes. If you either use a boot shaper or maybe you can stuff it with newspaper um, or just look after them, they shouldn't, you know, get too much of an issue. Um, so, yeah, I think it should be all right. It's just something that, you know, some of the comments that you usually get about the Iron Ranger and the design. But, um, I mean, they do make it so you can, you know, wiggle your toes, so they are very comfortable. Uh, so I'll break them in. I don't suspect it to be, you know, a big break in like the 875s, which, you know, a lot of people in, com in the comments have said they could be months and months. Some people have even just given up. Um, but I have found those to get better. So anything else to show on these? Uh, probably not. They're... In terms of they do come up quite high here. I mean, you should be able to wear these in snow, rain, and all that kind of stuff and not have issues. Um, there's not really any lining. Now I'm looking at it, that toe is quite noticeable in terms of the difference in colour. Hmm. I mean, with wear and cream and all that kind of stuff. Maybe I won't notice it too much. But it is weird, those, those quality issues. But overall, um, you know, it's a classic boot. Um, looking forward to wearing it. Goes well with chinos, jeans, all kinds of things. And uh, maybe I'll do another review if it's worthwhile. Um, you know, during the breaking period or after the breaking period, in a few weeks or a couple of months. Thanks for watching.